4A taking on Brew Crew. David Brewerton and Zachary at the Bronco Corral. All scoreless, two minutes left in the first half. And how about the throw, the defense. You know, I love a good defensive highlight right there. Interception, Clyde Jones. They failed to get points at the end of the half and 30 ticks left in the second quarter and they finally connect. Zacchaeus Malvo, how about that? And a big time gainer, but stopped before the half. Now let's go to the second half, still scoreless. Excuse me, Broncos up 3-0 in the third. We missed a field goal there. Deshaun Ford, he's big and he's fast. 6-3 lead for Opelousas. Final minute of the third. Zachary finally wakes up. <laughs> Devecchio Ruffin. Touchdown. And Zachary starts to kind of pour it on there at the end. 24-6 for more there from Zachary. We turn to our very own Brendan Fairbairn. Hey, Brian, I don't think many people would have believed me if I said it was 0-0 at halftime between Zachary and Opelousas. I mean, the Broncos just shot 34 points last week, and the Tigers put up 40 against Ash. Now, I'm not saying there wasn't any offense because there definitely was, but both teams really just couldn't capitalize in the red zone, especially Zachary. Three missed field goals in the first half, two were within the five yard line, and two touchdowns were called back due to penalties. Different story in the second half, both teams got their offenses going. But the real test comes next week for the Broncos when they start district play and when they take on Scotlandville. We'll see how the Broncos tighten up that offense. Reporting on high school football for your Go Nation, I'm Brendan Fairbairn. Back to you, Brian.